What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be ask, answering the question, why is asking for reassurance from a toxic narcissistic partner like an insult to them? Why is asking them to reassure you, to validate you, insulting to a narcissist or a toxic person? And just for reference, somebody sent me that question on Instagram and I was just like, damn, this is a good question to, you know, make a video to. I can do a whole, an entire video breaking this part of it down right here. The main reason, and if you knew here, like I said, I'm a diagnosed narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. Um, I actually got diagnosed again. I went back to take another psyche valve uh, recently. We'll go over there in another video. But the reason narcissistic people, toxic people, one of the reasons they see you asking like they see that as an insult, like you asking them for reassurance because it's like you don't trust them. You don't trust me enough. You don't care about me enough. You don't love me enough. You, you're telling me that I'm not I'm not good enough. You're telling me that I haven't done enough for you. You're telling me that I lack something. I'm in lack like narcissistic people already beat themselves up every single day internally, like mentally, emotionally, like they, they hammer away at themselves all the time. So when you come out of nowhere and you ask her, hey, can you give me some reassurance of where we're going? Hey, can you validate how I feel? Can you do this? They see that as a criticism. They see that as a personal attack on how they feel, on how like they see that as a personal attack from you. Believe I'm not criticizing them. It's not a personal attack. Yes, it is. It's not a personal attack to you to you but to that narcissistic person that you're dealing with yes it can be viewed as 100 percent a personal attack on on them it just can be but that's how the mind of a lot of narcissistic toxic people work right there y'all like they see it as a personal attack they see it they view it like you are attacking me like if you're telling me i'm not good enough you're telling me that I lack something. I'm already beating myself up. I'm already have a lot of self doubt. Narcissistic people already have a lot of insecurities, a lot of like self loathing going on. So for you to open your mouth and just say, "Hey, can you reassure me on where this relationship is going? Can you validate how I feel?" Or, 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 if you talk about your feelings, even if you bring up how you feel about something, they take it as a personal attack. They see it as direct criticism to them and how they are treating you. You know, I'm not trying to get you. I know I know what it sounds like. I know what it feels like I, when I start talking. I know it feels like I'm making excuses for narcissists. I am not. I trust me. Nobody like if they're treating you horribly, they don't deserve to treat you horribly. But I'm just saying this is the mindset of a narcissist. Like if you bring up your feelings, if you say, hey, I feel like if you say, hey, can we talk about how I feel? Hey, can we talk about how you're treating me? Hey, can we do this? They take it as a personal attack because it get yeah, Think about it. It is. You're attacking how they're treating you. Is is it valid? Are your are your attacks valid, or is the way that you you feel valid? Yes, you are right to feel the way that you feel. But when you bring it up to that person, they take it as a personal attack on how they are treating you because they're not treating you well. They know that they're not treating you well, and to hear you say it is like you're stabbing them with a knife. It's like you're cutting it. It's like you're cutting them up with a a bushido blade or something like that. Like you you when you talk about your feelings, is you you're basically unsheathing your sword. And cutting that narcissist up like a damn samurai, like you're a, 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 an empath samurai. Like, hey, can I? T this is how it goes right here. In the mind of a narcissist, this is how we see you when you want to talk about your feelings. Hey, sh can I talk about my feelings really quick? Sh they see it like you unleashing your sword, and a lot of times because they see it like you're unleashing your sword, about to attack them, they will attack you. They will attack you. They, they, and they just feel like they're matching your energy. You're going to attack me with how you feel or how I'm treating you. I'm going to attack you. Well, what about what you did? I'm going to attack you. But how, what about how I feel? Why is it all about you? Why do you get to feel this way? Why, you know, why are my feelings invalidated? Why are my feelings not valid in circumstances like this? You know what I mean? Why is it, does it have to be this way? Why is it like this? Why is it like that? You mean that's the mindset of a lot of toxic, narcissistic people. It just is. That's the way it goes. So I tell this to people all the time, like, but Lee, how do we get our point across? We, we, we just want to let them know how we feel. Y'all, I said this earlier and I was joking. I, I was on a live earlier and I was joking. I like, if you want to discuss to with a narcissist how they make you feel, go outside, find your nearest brick wall and talk to that because you'll be getting you that the brick wall will talk back less. 
the brick wall will not see what you're talking to, will not see what you're saying as direct criticism to how they're treating you. The brick wall feels differently. Narcissistic people don't want to hear it, y'all, because they know they're not treating you well. They don't want to hear about it. They know that they lack, you know, what they lack in the relationship. They don't want to hear about it. When you bring it up, it's like you cut like when you bring it up, when you when you talk about your feelings, when you want to, when you want validation or reassurance from them, it's like you don't trust them. It's like you don't love they 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 take it like you don't love them and care about them. They're not good enough. Like everybody my whole life has been telling me I'm not good enough. And then here comes my significant other. Here comes my partner to to lay on top of the pile. Here comes my partner to hop on the, the train of telling me, um, of telling me that I was wrong, of telling me that I'm treating them badly as well. Here comes my partner to do the same type of thing right here. So they take it as a personal attack, y'all, because they know it. I was joking. She's not going to eat her, her snack, y'all. <laughs> y'all hear something? She did not want me to eat her snack. Uh, <laughs> but it's a personal attack, y'all. It's like you're launching a personal attack on this toxic, narcissistic person. It just is. But like, what can we do about it? We just want to talk. I'm just telling y'all. You to get it out. Just say it. Say it what's on your mind. Just say it. But you have to say it. If you want to talk to a narcissist, communicate with your feelings to a narcissist. You have to say it in a way that is makes it seem like it's not their fault. You have to. It's like you have to put on kid gloves. It's like you have to baby them or approach them in a, a lesser way. Hey, look, babe. I'm not trying to attack you, but this is not good. Because and this is how I know. And this is how you should know, too. This should be an ind a direct indicator that they know that they're treating you badly. <clears throat> we say, babe, let me talk about how you made me feel yesterday. And I felt great. Do they take that as a personal attack? When you want, when you want to talk about your good feelings, they don't see it as a personal attack. They, they want you to lavish that praise upon them. They want you to say that when you want to talk about your good feelings, they and they take it. They take that, don't they? But as soon as the second you talk about I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling unneeded or I'm feeling unwanted, that's when they have the issue. That's when the issues arise. You say, "Hey, I don't, I'm not, I don't really like how you talked to me last night." Rawr! You know, a narcissistic person typically their reaction is going to be way bigger than what you're accusing them of or what you're bringing up. Hey, I don't really like that you're talking to your ex. Rawr! That's just my friend. Rawr! You see what I'm saying? That's that's wildness. What I'm just saying, they take it as a personal attack, and they will continue to do so. Believe, how do we get through to them, y'all? But your wife got through to you. My wife did not get through to me. She literally called me a narcissist and left. Y'all see me doing my hands like this. <laughs> she literally called me a narcissist, took my son and bounced. She bounced. I went through therapy on my own. I was not forced to go to therapy. She, my wife is not a narcissist whisperer. She's not going to come up to you and just be like, hey, look, this is how you get your narcissistic partner to do what you want. No, I ain't working on myself. I've been working on myself for the last six years. This is, this, I'm just in a different space right now. Matter of fact, even today, like I'm just gonna show you how far we've came because I've, I've got, I've worked on my communication. We used to talk about parenting stuff. She said, um, she used to record me. And I tell y'all, I tell y'all to record y'all's partners and stuff like that. She used to record me. I hear some of the recorders. I don't want to hear them, but sometimes, she, you know, she, rec she used to record me and she had them in a hidden file. And she, um, we had to talk about, we had to talk about something with my, uh, my oldest son, um, yesterday. And she said she was nervous to talk about it, but she, she said it and we agreed and we worked it out. We talked about it and happily ever after. She said six years ago, we were talking about my youngest son, my middle son, um, and she's brought up something that I had did wrong. And I immediately started insulting her because I took what she said as an insult, as a criticism. So I started criticizing her. I've been working on myself and she can tell in those moments how far I've came. You see what I'm saying? It's just, it's just moments like that where she just the damn, you have been working on yourself. Like, cause I was nervous to talk about you because years ago you would have said this and said that. But the fact that you let me, you let me finish. You did interrupt me. You understood what I said. And you didn't attack me. You understood what I said. Didn't criticize me. And then you, you making the necessary alterations, necessary changes. That's how you know, y'all I'm working on myself. They have to willing, be willing to work on themselves. Everything is not narcissistic. People talk to people or trying to avoid shame at all costs. And you telling them that they're you telling them that they're not treating you well is is bringing shame to them. They want to avoid shame. That's why they just they take it as criticism because criticism bring criticism. You criticizing them 
opens the door for the shame monster to peek in. Like, hey, here I come. I'm coming to get you. And a narcissist, in order to avoid that shame, they attack you. They launch an attack on you, which 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 if in, if it ends the wrong way, can bring them more shame. They end up putting their hands on you or harming you. You end up bringing them more shame to them. But they don't think about stuff like that, y'all. They just want to attack and take it that way. So you have to empower yourself on this journey because if you do not empower yourself, y'all, they're going to keep taking advantage of you. I'm just telling you. So that's the reason why they take it as an insult. When you ask them for reassurance or validation, it's like you don't trust them. It's like you don't believe in them. And it's like that you don't you don't value them. You know what I mean? But anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Look, before I get out of here, if you haven't already, go get the self-love journal on Amazon. This is I Love Me, a self-love journal by Lee Hammock. Search Lee Hammock uh, self-love on Amazon. The point of this journal is to help you rebuild that self-love. I'm worthy. You have to detail how you are worthy today or tomorrow. Here's another one right here. Uh, those are the blank pages. You make your own affirmations up. I'm free. I'm consistent. This is to help you build, rebuild that self-love, y'all. Anyway, this is on Amazon. Lee Hammock Self-Love. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.